Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is another comparison video, as you probably already know from that thumbnail. We're comparing SolidWorks and Fusion 360 specifically in their CAD modeling um, or their, their solid modeling, more likely. That more, more like that, that makes it a little bit more specific. Um, and really, this is going to be testing out the basic modeling features in both programs. Um, I just picked a, a mechanical part I found online, uh, just from a, like a draft drawing. Um, and, and made it on both of them. If you would like to see that full length build, this is not this video. Uh, I will attach at the end a link to that video. Um, but for time, I'm just doing a comparison, just talking about what I've noticed from this build as well as some past builds um, and giving some thoughts about what I think is better and why for different cir circumstances, people's circumstances. So first off, similarities, workflow. Um, I've talked about this a, a, a bit in other videos. It was pretty much the same. Um, the steps and processes that I took. Actually, I'll show you the uh, the part that I ended up making. So just this mechanical bracket for those uh, Star Wars nerds out there. kind of reminds me of an Ithorian. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I made this bracket in Fusion 360 as well as SolidWorks. So just looking at it, you can see these are pretty simple uh, and basic extrude features for the most part. Um, and yeah, workflow is pretty much the same in both programs. No issues there. I was a little faster in Fusion 360, partially just because I've had a little bit more practice with it in the last year and a half. Um, but yeah, really not much difference in workflow. Features, also pretty much the same. There's extrude in both of them. Um, there are some differences I'll talk about a little bit later about that those and then the outcome I mean you can see it for yourself. They look exactly the same um, And yeah, it wasn't hard to do that. There's no discrepancies like there were with the surface comparison I did a little while back uh, now differences there was really only one difference between the two processes in my opinion and that was with the features Um and there's a whole slew of just differences nitpicked between the two, but some really noticeable, like notable ones um, that really, in my opinion, makes a huge difference is in Fusion 360, they've lumped together extrude and extrude cut into the same feature. I love that. I think it's phenomenal. SolidWorks, they've not done that. SolidWorks, it's still very separate. And so you have your extruded boss base feature, and then you have your extrude cut feature which I just don't, and it's not just that, I mean, for all of their cuts, and I mean, you have cut revolve, cut boss base, sweep cut, sweep boss base, and I think that's something that Fusion 360 did a really good job of just combining the two, and then in the feature, you can tell them if you want to do a positive or negative, adding or cutting away. It seems like a simple thing, but good job, Fusion 360. SolidWorks, you really need to do better there. Um, that being said, um, one thing you always will get with something like SolidWorks um, is overcompensation on customizability. You can really customize each and every single one of these features, um, especially once you start using more advanced features. You can do the same with, with extrudes, but even with like lofts and sweeps, you can really customize rails and how these features are going to be interacting with those guide rails. Um, I didn't do any of that in this model. It wasn't necessary, but from past experiences, it, it's very, very useful to be able to do that, especially with more technical shapes, um, as well as fillet. A fillet is another feature I feel in SolidWorks is so much more customizable, but even then, it's still quite good in Fusion 360. Overall, though, um, what are my thoughts? Uh, if you're doing a mechanical part like the one that I did in, in this video, you don't really need something so powerful as SolidWorks. You can definitely get away with using Fusion 360. Um, and, and you can do a lot with those capabilities. If you are trying to do something a little bit more organic or you do have a lot more custom curves and things like that, you may run into some issues with Fusion 360. Um, and have to maybe work with some workarounds and just kind of give up on some of your design preferences. Um, but with SolidWorks, you won't find that issue as much. There's a lot more you can do with it. If you like this video, I would definitely appreciate if you hit that like button. I'd love to hear comments and questions down below. Uh, there's a lot of you that have used one or the other program, and, and I may have missed some of your own preferences, and I'd love to hear them in the comments. 
Um, if you do want to see the full build, uh, I'm going to have a link for that right here. Um, and I may actually speed that up if it's too long uh, or just kind of draw, like draws out. Um, but I'm going to be posting that also with this video. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is the quick review on the differences and similarities between Fusion 360 and SolidWorks in solid modeling. So thanks for watching and keep modeling. We'll see you. Bye.